Governor Green, thank you very much for the opportunity to serve my native Hawaiian people whose heart I always wore on my sleeve thanks to the upbringing of my grandparents, uh, Whitney and Hanny Anderson, who served in leadership positions in the Association of Hawaiian Civic Clubs. But I respectfully ask, Governor, that you please withdraw my nomination effective immediately. Uh, I'd like to thank this governor and his administration for calling me forth to serve my native Hawaiian people, the beneficiaries of the Hawaiian Homelands Trust. I've had the opportunity to travel the state and meet so many of you, and I'm grateful for that opportunity. Uh, despite yesterday's Senate Hawaiian Affairs Committee meeting where support in, in favor of my confirmation was overwhelming, more than two to one, uh, the votes just weren't there. I respect that process. I thank the State Senate for allowing me to go through the process and for allowing me the opportunity to be heard. I'd also like to thank all of the community leaders who came out to support me. Uh, former governors, former member of Congress, a mayor, former colleagues on the Honolulu City Council, many members of the Green Administration, but most importantly, some of the beneficiaries I had the opportunity to meet, some of the beneficiaries of the Hawaiian Homelands Trust. I look forward to continuing to work with the Hawaiian community and Governor Green going forward and whatever opportunities may come up for me to be of service. Uh, I will always be grateful, Governor, for the opportunity to come forward and to serve and to be considered. Although this opportunity wasn't meant to be, it was an honor to be considered and I must thank you and the community and the State Senate for allowing me to at least go through that.